What is up YouTube? Thrift School over here. It is day number four of the seven day Goodwill thrifting challenge. Uh, we didn't find anything yesterday, really. We found enough to pay off for a little Lazy Susan pencil paper holder thing for my office. So I guess I got that for free, which is kind of nice. But uh, that's not what we're doing this for. We're trying to see how much money we can make buying things from Goodwill, selling them on eBay and Amazon. And the first two days were very successful. Let's hope day number four is just as successful. Let's go. All right, homies and homettes, we are at the Goodwill and uh, about to walk in. Hopefully, we're finding stuff. I actually dropped off a whole bunch of donations the other day. I'm trying to clean out my basement. I was right over there. Dropped off three giant garbage bags full of clothes, a table, a stool. I have more stuff to get rid of, but I'm taking more into my house today, probably. <laughs> so let's see if we can find any of my stuff on the shelves here. Who knows? All right, it's pretty dead in here, which is nice. I like to see that. I always come take a look at the media first, but again, doesn't oh actually this is this wasn't here before it's used but it's resealed look that up that's kind of cool and what do we got here prissy's honor nothing and tenacious d kind of cool all right the media ended up being pretty good we got this uh barney and bob the builder and thomas the tank engine for these are all two dollars each and what oh, this one was one dollar actually selling for about ten this uh, TV series right here, it's a television movie collection, $2, it's brand new sealed, selling for 14 And then Migret, I think, the complete series, $2 on that. It discs are very clean in there. This one's going for about 13 to 14 as well. So, hey, that's a decent little haul in the beginning. Let's uh, go check out the electronics. Hope we see something there today. I actually haven't found anything in the electronics section, I don't think. And this is day four, so hopefully there's something new over here to find. Uh, what do we got, what do we got? I mean, these, these typewriters have been here forever. I mean, these were here before I even started this challenge, so they've just been sitting. Um, I think they price them too high, yeah. $20 for an electric typewriter. People aren't really looking for the electric ones. If you do find typewriters though, keep an eye out for the clicky key ones. Not like that. See, it even says electric right on it. The clicky, whoa. The clicky key ones are worth the most. What do we have in here? Some speakers, nothing, nothing. Not looking too promising. We got a remote right there, but that's just a uh, Blu-ray player, a DVD player. Nothing special. Some of these clocks can be really good. These Sony Dream Machines. This one's five dollars. Um, I mean, it looks pretty clean. We can look it up real quick. I mean, unless it's worth like thirty, forty dollars, I won't grab it just because it's a pain to bubble wrap it and everything to send it into Amazon. Because that's how I tell. Them. Oh, hey, here's something. <laughs> Change of thought. DVD VCR combo. Now this is a pain to sell, but they're usually worth more. Um, it doesn't say it's a recorder, which, but it has a record button. I think that's just for the VCR. It's $10, let's look it up. How I look it up is on the back, it's the PVD4735S. So I'm gonna pull out my phone and check that out. So here it is, it's pretty interesting. We have the Panasonic right there. Uh, decent rank, but you can see the picture has the remote. This doesn't come with the remote, so I'd have to buy that separately. You're only gonna make $73 after fees. The remote could cost 10 to $20. So in reality, we'd be down to about a $20 to $30 purchase price. So that brings us down to about $35 to $40 in profit. Now the one issue with that is, I don't know if this works, plus shipping costs. So if it was going for like $150, I'd grab it, but $95, I'm gonna leave it. Taking a look on this back wall over here. I noticed these, I used to sell these all the time. I actually haven't found one in years. It's uh, brand new, it's studded snow tires for your feet. Winter's coming, you can see $3. I scanned it into Amazon and we're looking pretty good here. Really good rank, selling for 22 bucks. You'll make about $11 after fees. So, hey, we're at like 11, 22, 32, eh, probably like 35-ish dollars or so. Not bad, not bad. Happy with that so far but we want to get closer to $100. If I could do $100 in profit for every day this week, just from this Goodwill, I'd be pretty happy. You know, that's, that's $700 in profit in one week. Now, our first two days, I believe, we did more than that. So, hopefully, 
today we'll find something huge. Let's see, what's down here? Anything cool today? Got some foldable chairs, a big dragon with a unicorn spike. And uh, that's about it. Nothing cool down here. So we'll check out the VHS wall. There's a pogo stick. This is cool. It's the Maverick. Oh, I'm too heavy for it. It went straight to the ground. So that could go back there. All right, these are cool. Got some electric razor scooters with the charger cords. Um, I don't know if it's new or not. I doubt they're new. They look used. But, uh, that, well, the tires look pretty new. Like it was just rolled out here from the back. So I don't know. They're filled with air. They're 30 bucks each. How do they work? Where is the uh, go button on this thing? It says twist. Oh, there it is. Huh. I'll see if they're worth anything and I might snag them for 30 bucks each. These could be great for Christmas time. Let's see how much they're worth. So I looked right down here. It's model E100. I looked it up on Amazon and it has a great rank. Used selling for 121, new selling for 150. Uh, I bet you for 30 each, if I could even get like 60 to $70 locally for them, could totally be worth it. Now looking in here, yeah, they both have their power cords. I wish they had some power so I could test them, but they do have a two day return policy on electronics here. So I'm gonna charge them up at home, test them out. I'm gonna double check eBay and see how much they're listed for and see if there's any locally on Facebook Marketplace. All right, so I looked both these up and take a look. I found on Facebook Marketplace, somebody selling uh, very similar looking ones, just different colors, 75 each. And it's getting a bunch of comments, people asking to come pick them up. And then I see another one, slightly different model, uh, selling for $60 each. And uh, that's in Southington, Connecticut, which is semi close to where I am. Um, but you know, if, if I could list them for 75, 60, somewhere around there and make a quick, I don't know, 60 to $100 on these, could totally be worth it. And plus they'd be fun to mess around with for until they sell. And I think they'll sell before Christmas. So I'm gonna grab them. I love these style of desks right here. It's uh, $75, but it has this cool pull down right there. I see there's a big chip in the wood right there though. $75 is too much, but it's just so cool. Got the drawer pull outs. Oh man, this thing is just pretty awesome, but leaving it behind, of course. Oh, there's a whiteboard. Whiteboards are always nice. $15 though, not for $15. If it were five. Oh, look at this. Look at this painting. <laughs> Minimalistic puppy on a big, big old frame. That is a work of art. I don't know, I don't know what to say about that, but I like it. So the cart is looking kind of interesting. I'm trying not to knock anything over with these. We did get these still. I'm not seeing anything else really new that's worth it. So we might have to call it quits, but I am checking out all of these uh, little aisles in the middle here first. Here we go. We got a puzzle right here, brand new for $4. We'll scan that in. It's only 500 piece, so the odds of it going for more than like, I don't know, $15 are pretty slim, but let's see. We will scan it in with the Amazon seller app. Take a look. It's not on Amazon, okay. So what I do in that case is take a picture with the Amazon seller app of the front of the box and see if anything pops up. All right, something is about to pop up. There it is, but it's a different puzzle. Um, probably not worth it. On eBay, you could probably get 15 to 20 for this. Uh, it probably weighs over a pound, so shipping costs would kill you on it. If it's not on Amazon, it's not worth it for me. So we are going to keep looking and not finding anything besides this monkey. This monkey's been here for a while. He's a weird looking monkey. Or she, I don't know who it is. And uh, yeah, oh, is this one of those fancy bookmarks? It is, lets you know how long you've been reading. Interesting. Um, look at this. 
I thought she was holding a gun. It's a blow dryer. All right, guys, we have left Goodwill and we are back home and look at this beautiful angel laying in the sun. What is going on? Hello, Sophia. You are looking mighty beautiful today. Okay, uh, I wanna show you guys the scooters. So I did get both of the scooters. I also got those DVDs and things like that. The DVDs, you know, I'll make like 30 to 50 on the high end dollars on, which is pretty sweet. I like that. But this will bring us to over $100 next to all my packing boxes. We're going to test these out. So I've been charging them up in the garage. Um, I actually think I turned the charger off or I overcharged this because this has been plugged in. I'm filming this um, like a couple days later. So... <laughs> We'll see, I'm gonna go take this out on the road and see if it goes. All right, we are outside with it. The only thing is the manual says the weight limit's 120 pounds and uh, I weigh like 190 pounds. So this is gonna be uh, interesting to see if it works well. I'm gonna set up the camera and take it down the road here and see if it works. works but I'm a little heavy for it so it's going kind of slow. Pretty sweet. Awesome. All right very cool. Glad to see that they work. Uh, I did test them both out but I only showed one on camera because you didn't want to see me going across the driveway twice on them right? Sofa wants to be light inside so uh, you know once those sell and I think they will sell before Christmas uh, we're looking at it. I'm gonna try to shoot for like I think I'm gonna listen for 80 bucks each because there's no more listed at the moment on Facebook. See what happens if I have to sell them for $60 each or even $50 each, I'll be happy with that. Um, you know, some kid will have an awesome scooter for Christmas and uh, got two of those and then all the DVDs. Sophia, she's barking like crazy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School signing out. See ya.